If you have decided to have a gusset thumb for your mittens, I want you to stop when you are finished with the ribbing as deep as you want it to be. Then I want you to knit one complete round of just knit stitches so that you've gotten a little bit of a barrier between your ribbing and when you're going to start the gusset thumb shaping. Okay, now remember you are going to stop knitting into the back of knit stitches because you're not doing it the ribbing anymore. So you just want to knit regular stitches around. Okay, gusset thumbs can come out of either the side, remember we talked about that, or a little bit off into the palm of your hand. It's a decision you make. They both are shaped in exactly the same way. They're just shaped at different places in the main body of your mitten. So let's talk about first placement. If you want to make your gusset come straight out of the side, maybe you're making three mittens for a child and that lets you have a replacement mitten, you're going to be having the stitch that is the final one before you make your turn to start a new round and the first stitch before you make a new round. It's so easy using Magic Loop because you won't even need to use a marker. Those two stitches, this one and this one, and you go all the way around, are going to be the ones that mark where you do your increases. Now, if you want to have your gusset come out of more the body of the stitch, I kind of think about it going over about, oh, right about here. Again, I just kind of guess at it. I go in a little bit. The fabric's going to kind of take care of any measurement problems I have, but I kind of go over here. But if you do that, you're going to need to use two little markers to mark off two stitches that will be the center of how your gusset grows for your thumb. Okay, I'm going to go over to here and put my markers in and then go all the way around again so that I can start my increasing. If you are going to be increasing on the side, don't worry, follow my instructions, but you'll just be doing it off to the side. All right, let me get my markers in place and we'll have a little conversation. So I have placed markers for my thumb gusset, which is going to come out of the palm of my hand just a little off center from it on the front of the palm. Now remember, if I do this, that's going to make this a very clear left hand mitten. And so the next time when I make the next mitten, I need to be sure I make a matching right hand thumb gusset. Now, just for fun to kind of make the point, I did place markers here just to kind of show you if you are making your gusset, straight out from the side, you're gonna follow the exact same instructions I'm going to give you for this one. It's just going to be placed somewhere else. Okay, so what you're going to do is knit. Then what I want you to do is slip that marker and I want you to make a new stitch. You can use any method you like. If you want, you can do a backward loop just remember to knit into the back of it when you come around because that'll tighten it up. The other option you might want to consider is just making one into the stitch below. See that strand that comes between the two stitches below? Okay, you go through the back of it, you put it onto the left hand needle, and then you knit into the back of that stitch. Now you know how to knit into the back of a stitch, you were doing it for your ribbing, not a problem. Then you're going to knit the two stitches and before the marker, I need you to go down into the stitch below, the strand below, put it onto the left hand needle, okay? Knit into the back of it. That kind of tightens it up. Oop, I seem to have caught my uh, marker. Now knit into the back of it move the marker, and then knit all the way around. What you will do is every other round, you will make that increase right on the inside of each of your 
markers, whether they're on the palm or whether on the side. And what's going to happen is the amount of stitches in between those markers is going to grow. And so you'll be able to see how you're making extra stitches to make room for your thumb. All right, I'm gonna go around. I'm going to increase every other round and I will show you when to stop, which is essentially trying it on. And when you get to the V of your thumb, you're going to stop Put these extra stitches on a holder, then go on up the rest of your mitten, and you'll come back later and make a little tiny circle for your thumb. Okay, a little tiny, tiny mitten is another way of thinking about it. So go forth and knit around every other time. Add a stitch to the inside right by each of these markers to make this grow. Keep trying it on, and when you get so that that increase, matches right up with the V of your thumb, stop, come back, and we'll talk about putting them on a holder for you.